Ah, greetings, you unfortunate total losers. I'm Dr. Clayton Forrester. It's Thanksgiving, and once again, I shall soon be ruling the world. As you cling to one another, weeping in desperation, you may ask, why now? Why me? Because my mother's coming in a few hours, and I'd like to be ruling the world by the time she gets here. <laughs> oh, no. Mother, she's early. Oh, what do I do? I haven't put... I'm not ruling the world. <laughs> Hello, and warm Thanksgiving's greetings, Dr. Clayton Forrester. Perkins, what the hell are you doing here, you pedantic, <laughs> leathery old... Now, Clay, come, I... I come bearing an invitation from television's own Frank, done in a tasteful yet not too formal Bookman old style font on a crisp and elegant eggshell. Don't part just give me this. Please join Dr. Clayton Forrest during TV's Frank Thanksgiving dinner. Frank! <laughs> oh, now, Clay, this is going to be fun. Say, brought a tangy Mexican three-layer dip. I hope there's enough for everyone. Everyone? There's more? Oh, son of a... Oh, Perkins! My mother will be here in just a few hours. I don't even know what I have in the kitchen. Maybe some ramen noodles? Or... Oh, now, Clay, Forrester. that'll never do for Mother Forrester, let alone the rest of the guests. I'll tell you what let's do. Why don't you nip down to the store with this list prepared for me by Bert Wolf? Just about the finest shopping list I've ever seen. And I'll stay here and take care of things here. Ah, uh, uh, mm -hmm. good, good. Okay. I'll just uh, nip down to Piggly Wiggly and get the stuff on the... Oh, uh, be a dear, Jack, and uh, uh, send them the movie. <laughs> Why, of course. Hello. And welcome to the first movie in this, our Turkey Day Marathon. This one is a fun hunk of cinematic sludge that I like no, to no, think no, no. of as one of the finest... This, read this here. <laughs> Thank you. You brainless monkeys, I will make you bow down before me. <laughs> one day, you will all be before me prostrate, quaking, naked, and afraid, and I will show you the meaning of laws. <laughs> so that I might quickly dominate you, this year I've selected a fast-acting episode from the first year of my experiment, The Crawling Hand. Oh. <laughs> Enjoy. Perkins! Jack? Uh, they didn't have those shiitake mushrooms, so I got canned mushrooms, and I didn't know what that basmati rice was, so I got uh, Uncle Ben. Ah, who are you? What are you doing here? What do you want with me? <laughs> I'm Mr. B, natural, and I embody the spirit of music in you and you. Knew your father a dead. Is it money you want? Ah, oh, Mr. B, natural, I see you got Frank's invitation. Yeah. Brought a Mexican three-layer dip, I did. <laughs> oh, look, you two, I am really trying to rule the world before my mother gets here, so if you could just, oh, just make yourself at home. <gasps> well, that'll make me feel like a happy... Oh, boy. Excuse me. Attention. Attention, people of Earth. My anthology of evil continues. Please be sure to check the area around your seat, as the world as you know it will be coming to a full and complete stop. Because my mother is coming, and I'm in a hurry to rule the world, I'm sending you one of my most evil of all experiments, Manos, the Hands of Fate. Ah, hello again, America, and welcome to the third installment of my MST Marathon. By the end of the day, you see my mother's coming, and I promised her that I will rule the world! <laughs> Dr. Forrester, taste some of my cornbread stuffing, a recipe given me by the great Jacques Pepin as we were mushrooming and... Oh, I... Unfortunately, I've also got to deal with some weird guests that Frank invited before he was subsumed up into heaven, whatever the hell that was. So if we're all very lucky... Cross our fingers, that's it. We won't have any more uninvited guests. Ah! Hi! <laughs> oh, go away. Oh, but I brought a Mexican three-layer dip. <laughs> oh, just put it on the bed. I've got important things. Ah! Hi! 
Who are you? Would you like to be a happy king? Ah, Mr. Be Natural, allow me to introduce Satan. Pitch, scratch, Beelzebub, ruler of the domain of never-ending darkness, old Gooseberry. Great. I'm trying to rule the world before my mother gets here, and I've got Satan, I've got some androgynous man-woman, and I've got Peter Graves Jr. in my house. Hey. A joke, Perkins, a joke. <laughs> oh, folks, <laughs> this next one is another watershed movie in my endless triumph. Note how I lose one hapless victim and yet secure another one even more stupid. I give you Mitchell. Ah, good, Chicago under control. Des Moines, uh, East Moline, uh, Pettendorf. Ooh, ooh. You know, Satan, I am pleased to meet you. <laughs> Hope you guess my name. <laughs> <laughs> but what's puzzling me... The nature of my game. <laughs> <laughs> Look, you two, I don't care if Frank did invite you for Thanksgiving. I've got to control the world before my mother gets here or we are all in so much trouble. <laughs> Oh, great. Now, who's this? Another freak for the pile? And uh, you would be... A uh, kitten with the whip. Uh-huh. Here, I brought this. <coughs> you. Yeah. And uh, where should I... Uh... Oh, just put that in the bathroom. And don't spray anything. My mom's coming over. Hey, it's not like I'm in heat. Although I uh, could be persuaded. She's a guy. Anyway, people, here's the deal. I'm taking you over, and I don't want any whining. It's not like your lives are all that great now, anyway. This next film, Outlaw from my middle period, demonstrates how clearly and completely I can dominate one Mike Nelson. <laughs> Woo-wee! Right, let me tell you. You might want to get in there and scoop my clumps. Scoop your own clumps. <laughs> Mousy? Look, don't Come do that. on, kitty. Don't Can cut you it see out. the mousy? Do you know what happens when you do that to me? Don't Come do that. On, don't, do that. don't do that. Don't do that. Get her out of your house. Now that the party's begun, it might be a good time to awaken the spirit of music in everyone. In you, Satan. In you and in everyone. In All right, that's it. Everybody out. Old Scratch. Puss in Boots. Mr. Spirit of Music in everyone. Perkins, get your leathery ass up off my cape floor and out, out, out! Could it be? Oh, it is Michael Feinstein! Oh, my story is much too sad to be told But practically everything leaves me totally cold The only Exception I find is the case when I'm out on a quiet spree, fighting vainly the old ennui. Then I suddenly turn and see your fabulous face. Perkins, you simp! Put skydivers on. Uh, now, why don't you do it mode. yourself? Perkins, Perkins. Hey. from yeah. champagne. Fine. 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 Okay. All right, folks. Okay. Well, you know, folks, Dr. Forrester's extravaganza of evil would never be complete without a Coleman Francis film. I salute you, Coleman Francis. The Skydivers! Out of you. Oh, oh, baby, there you got it. Oh, man. <laughs> I like you. Oh. You're funny. <laughs> yep, well, um, I'm gonna go and do that thing I was... Mr. B. Natural? <laughs> yes. God, I can't believe you're a guy. <laughs> yep, every bit of me, all Well, man. then, so be it. I guess I'm just gonna have to trust my instincts oh, on right. this one. Oh, right, B. Natural. Sir, I'm... allow me to kiss you. <clears throat> Hello, everyone. We are now at the sixth installment of my Mystery Science Theater 3000 Marathon, and uh, the movie is Starfighters, coming your way. Remember, we're on a plan of world domination before my mother gets here. Remember, these experiments are the most evil I've ever done. Now back to the party. Oh, Michael, I have one. Birds do it. Bees do it. Even educated, please. Go, sweet.
women with bow-legged women and swim between their legs. Swim between their legs. Everybody swim between their legs. You know, so does Satan. Another bullet, Mrs. Oh, B. I normally don't drink, but tonight, what the hell? Here, kitty, kitty. Here, kitty, kitty. Oh, you. Boy, that Perkins is really hot, huh? Hey, Mom. Mother, uh, you're here. Where's Frank? Uh, Frank is not here, Mother. Not here, Clayton? Oh, good one, Clayton. I come all this way to... Say, hey, Jack has never looked better. Happy Thanksgiving, Mother. Yeah, sure. Um, you're just in time to see me take over the entire world, Mom. That's nice, dear. Say, who's the red-hooved one down there at the end? Well, the cloven one, it is him. Uh, hi, everyone, everyone. <laughs> My mother is here. <laughs> My mother's here. See the game? The game. Mm -hmm. What a goal line stand. Game o' inches. Took the extra base. <laughs> From inside the paint. And deep inside the red zone. Way past the blue line. Got in his kitchen, climbed the ladder. And that icing. Oh, oh. Rookie of the year. Tom Smythe trophy. 50, 60, 70 shot. yard line. Whoa! A four bagger. And a great slap shot. Hey, but he was pushed out of bounds. What? Back, back, what? back. Offside! Oh, Damn, what a game. way in hell. He was way over the blue line and he left a 7-10 split standing. God, how I love Australian rules football. Ah, the uh, Mads are calling him just when he got a takedown. Takedown, takedown! Take two points! Ah, you're here. Uh, listen, I need you to snap to uh, my mom's here and I've promised to take over the world before pie is served. So, uh, help me out and I won't destroy you. Well, we'll think about it. Yeah. <laughs> hey, looks like you got a regular Playboy After Dark shindig going on there. Wow. Yes, it's uh, Frank. He invited him last April. Even in the afterlife, he mocks me. So what is this, Star Trek Voyager or something? Oh, no, no, Mother. This is my experiment. Remember where I Art, shot a... is that you? Why, Pearl, how good to see you. Oh, Art, you rogue. It has been so long. <laughs> Ah, you're looking radiant, Pearl. Ten years younger since the scars were sanded off. Oh, you charmer, you. So, you work with my spawn. Yep, pretty much run the place. <clears throat> oh, uh, these are the guys that work for me. Well, this makes me feel a little bit better about this whole experiment thing. So, now what, Clayton? I suppose you have to push some buttons or take some urine samples. Uh, yes, Mother. Now the experiment begins. Uh, now, uh, Frank brings me a fresh movie to spool up. It, oh, God. You don't have a movie, do you? Uh, well, uh, uh, no. Oh, I thought this might happen. <sighs> Mother? <sighs> oh, here. This is one of my favorites. It's called Night of the Blood Beast, and you'll just hate it. It stinks. 
reminds me of Clayton's father. <laughs> oh, and there's a short subject, too. It's about telephones or some damn thing. It sucks on toast. Excuse me, uh, Dr. F, uh, ma'am. I just uh, went in the tabbouleh. You may want to take it off the buffet. Well, it looked just like Fresh Step. For oh, 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 yes. Yeah. Well, oh, 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 hi. Hey, what do you guys want with turkey, stuffing or potatoes? Mm. Stuffing or potatoes, Mike? Yeah. Well, funny you should ask, as my colleague Dr. Tom Servo and I are now prepared to publish our findings on the entire stuffing versus potato controversy. Excuse me, uh, Mike, we'll need the space. Cambot lights? Stuffing versus potatoes. Stuffing, a complex mixture of grains, vegetables, and fiber. The potato, nature's bouncing Betty. Stuffing, the combination of the four earth elements, fire, water, sky, and crumbs. The potato, silent enemy of the colon. January 8th, 1994, stuffing pulls child from burning building. New York City, potatoes watch helplessly as man is beaten to death. Now let's turn to our scientific findings. The skin, or jacket, of the potato is incredibly poisonous and will kill in an instant. Centrifuge tests prove that stuffing is a better vehicle for gravy. Potato, Norwegian rat of the vegetable kingdom, spreading typhus and gonorrhea as it jumps from ship to ship in the world's busiest port cities. And now, Mike, a short film. Stuffing, Balm and Gilead versus Potato, Eight-Eyed Hydra, Destroyer of Worlds. Give me liberty or give me death, but with dinner, I'll have stuffing. This is my stuffing. Eat me. <clears throat> Thank you. That's all. Oh, that's it? Yep. Oh, ah, yeah. Okay. <laughs> well, I... I guess I know your decision then, huh? Absolutely. Because, you, uh, you know, I was going to have both. Is it? Well, both is great. Both is good. to have both. Well, I love both. Well, oh, then holy, you can, you can take a mush them up. Yeah. 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 Mush the the Don't. What's his deal? So I'm filling this mouse, okay? I would think about a mouse, I'm going to play with it a little before it dies. I just, I... Oh, God, I hate cats. Hi, Pearl. Oh, Art, you are the only sane one. Do you ever just look at somebody and wonder who the hell they are and what the hell they're doing there? It's a screwy world, eh, Pearl? Art, you don't know the half of it. That guy right there, that one-time zygote that manifested itself into the something I call my son. Oh, Art, what happened? Kill him. That's what I do. Thanks, Art. You're sweet to listen. You know, you and I ought to get together more often. Sure. Anytime you want me to come down there, you just press that one button. Gee, Art, I'd like to. But, you know, my clay has his heart set on ruling the world. And a mother has got to support her son no matter what a loser he is. But you know what, Art? He's my loser. Okay, everyone. Shh. Quiet now. Quiet. <laughs> Now, I know you all know this man, but I just wanted you to get reacquainted, as I have, with this beautiful person, sir. I love you. Say hi, Mr. B. Say hi. hi. Say hi. Say hi. Say hi. Come hi. on. Hi. Later, hi. Art. <laughs> I love you, sir. Mm. Oh. Anytime you want to talk, girlfriend. Oh, oh, oh no, I got moving sign. Uh, uh, oh, moving sign. Yeah, now, Crow, if we'll just do the blessing. Crow? It must have slipped out during the hymn. What? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I tell you, he's been on me since I walked through the door. A bounder. I'd turn him into a cyst if it wasn't dinner. Hey, Satan, pass the potatoes. Oh, and cut my meat for me, will ya? And I must have thrown up 24 times in the car alone. <laughs> anyway, that's how I got neutered. You want to see the scar? No, 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 that's all right. Well, I suppose I got to get this thing rolling. 
All right, before we begin, why don't we go around the table and each give a little thanks to God. No offense, Satan. I'm taken. All righty then. Lord, I'd like to thank you for my health, the occasional good massage. Oh, and my son, I guess. Lord, please accept him, though you have seen fit to smite him with so many flaws and failures. Thank you, Mother. Um, me, I'm uh, thankful for uh, my mom, uh, uh, my evilness, my pending world domination. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, oh, and uh, my friends, who will be leaving immediately after the meal. Well, personally, I'm just thankful no one discovered, let's just say, keep away from the chickpeas. <laughs> Oh, uh, bless us, O oh Lord, these my gifts, for we are about to recede um, over and out, uh, stuffing instead of potatoes. What do you got, Satan? Oh, well, I, I guess I'm most thankful for my new clients, the cast of Friends, and special thanks to Mike Ovitz for finally throwing in with me, and most of all, Pat Buchanan. <laughs> I guess I'm most thankful for the spirit of music. Shut <laughs> up! Uh, you tell him, honey. Uh, okay, uh, listen up, everybody. Okay, okay, I have, um, another announcement. Me and, uh, Mr. B Natural and myself are going to be engaged. Isn't that right, honey? Okay, and, uh, one more thing. I'm gonna go, uh, uh drive the bus, uh, if you know what I mean. Okay. I move we skip to the meal. I second. Well, what the hell are we waiting for? Let's eat. Okay, Sparkles, what kind of pie do you want? Uh, mince meat or pumpkin? Mince meat, Michael? Mince meat? Oh. Our studies show, Mike, that there is no meat in this so-called meat-filled pie. Servo, can bite, if you please. I am mincemeat. I invade your inland waterways, choking off marine life. I move silently, attaching myself to pleasure craft. I am mincemeat. I am visited upon you. <laughs> I hide in the curtains, and I sleep in your hat, and I take on the dreams of the ones that have slept there. And nobody takes anything small into a bar around here. My God. Behold, yep. Powerful theater, isn't it, Mike? No, 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 no. Look, something's happening on a deep 13. Oh, my gosh. What's happened? The Mother, this is your doing, isn't it? Oh, now, Clayton. Mother? Well, I saw that you were really so very unhappy, and I remembered how that old recipe of mine always brought a smile to your face. Oh, turkey surprise. Cook turkey at 200 degrees for one hour, let stand, then rub it with a turtle. Oh, Mother. Well, it's clear that you can't function without me, dear. I'll be staying. Mother? Forever. Mother? Anyway, that's how I got into the business. Hey, hello. There they are, the ravishing Mother Forrester and that delightful man about madness, Dr. Clayton Forrester. Oh, <laughs> may I say very sincerely that I think Thanksgiving is the most delightful holiday of all because we get to say thank you. And so, thank you, Pearl. Thank you. Thank you, Dr. Forrester. And, and thank you, everyone. Happy Thanksgiving. Happy, Happy Thanksgiving. Thanksgiving. <laughs> Mother, would you like to kill him or shall I? Oh, you go right ahead, dear. Okay. This one's yours. <laughs>